everybody welcome back welcome back today we're doing puzzles we're going to get right into it remember if you're at the chess.com website you're going to click on puzzles once you find puzzles you're going to go to custom puzzles and remember if you're just starting off we have our range between zero and 500 that's where we're going to stick our last theme if you if you guys watched the last video we studied the desperado today we're going to move on to the discovered attack i think the discovered attack is fun so you guys are going to enjoy that let's just get right into it let's go Remember, guys, what we're trying to do is um, take the advice of Levy Rosman, where he told his students, you want to focus on trying to get 10 puzzles done in a row. Now, I want to show you another thing that I came up with and it's helping me quite a bit in my puzzles is um, if you click on your right arrow or your right click on your mouse, you can actually start to draw the moves out on the board. And if you'll notice, Wherever that arrow ends, right? For instance, here, that means that square is covered. This square is covered. Okay, and what we're trying to do is figure out how to get this king where he cannot move. So with this knight sitting here, we already know that the king can't move to this square. He can still move to this square. So this is the square we want to attack, right? Now, if you're gonna notice all the pieces on the board, you wanna draw out all of their movements. We have a rook over here. Check. Oh, right off the bat, I think we just solved the puzzle, right? We said he cannot move here. And if the rook comes to this square, he obviously can't move here. Now, what we want to do is before you make your move to here, you want to check and see, are there any pieces that can win my rook? doesn't appear that there is so we'll make the move and there it is okay and we'll see over here it was rated 160. let's move on to the next one number two okay so once again now it's black to move again i'm just gonna i'm just gonna tell you guys to do this as an exercise it's already helping me to visualize uh especially how to move my knight because i have a lot of problems visualizing the knight so i'm going to draw all the arrows to where the knight can move okay Next, I have my queen, and I'm going to draw all the arrows to what I can do with the queen. Well, I can do a lot with the queen, can I? Here. All the way to here. 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 What else? All the way to here. Whoops. All the way to here. 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 Okay. Okay. So what I'm kind of seeing, and I got, of course, this pawn, and and I don't know that they'll get that in depth that this pawn will um, come into that. But let's uh, let's take a look at this real quick and come back. Another thing that I didn't notice. Um, what about that? That is a fork, and we would win the bishop. Everybody see that? The, the biggest reason I would make this move probably is because I don't have any supporting pieces to help me mate the king. So let's go ahead and make that move. Incorrect. Oh, wow. Okay. Goes to show you guys again, just because I hit, I've reached 2211 in puzzles doesn't mean that I see just everything. So I guess I better have a better look at it and try it again. Just like that, I think it took me a second to see that. All right, guys, the queen, the king is in the corner here. So we want to check him and take away his escape square. Okay, now let's take another look at it. Right idea, wrong square. Check and this, but look, if I go check, he's got no move. Okay, so that was it. Wow, look at that, 130. I botched 130. Just goes to show you, anybody can do it. All right, let's draw our squares again. Let's see. Let's first look at him. All right, so he's attacking my rook. Is he going to win the rook on the next move? He's got a check here. Uh, it's actually a fork winning this and checking me here. So those are threats. That kind of that clues me in 
that I may want to do something forcing or I'm going to be losing some pieces. Okay, so let's study this for a moment. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm still looking at forcing moves and I'm looking at this check. He only has one square. And then if we look down here in the corner, we see this rook not doing anything. We can get him back over here as a check. And that should be mate, okay? Everybody agree with that? Let's try it. Check. Boom, there we go. All right, and this was a 380. All right, now in this situation, we've got two knights. These guys make a great pair together because they can do things like this, where they protect each other. I've always liked that. I just won a game the other day with the two knights and they were trying to help a pawn get across the board and the rook, he only had one rook and he could not figure out how to take my knights. Okay, let's look and see, do we have any checks? Well, right here we have a check. Can anybody take us? No. Okay, can anybody block, interpose? Yes. And then take. Right? And then that's check. And remember, this knight is covering both escape squares. So let's give that a try. And again, check and make sure. Is it safe? Can anybody take me? Nope. All right, let's take that rook. Good job. All right, it's 159. Guys, really, I'm telling you, focus on these arrows. Um, I've used it. There's a check. We want to find all of our checks first. Um, I like this setup because we've cut off the escape squares here and here. The only thing this guy needs is a check. Do you guys see it? When we're working with the two bishops together, they can be very powerful. I believe they call this an X-ray because we're doing sort of like a boom, boom. So let's try that. Excellent. All right, it's 266. Now you see we're picking up our pace a little bit because we can actually do, we can draw the arrows on the board and get a better idea of what's happening. Right off the bat, we see a check. Okay, he can't take it, right? So no, nothing can take it. Nothing. Okay, so that looks pretty safe. And then look again, we have the same theme. Rook in the corner. He interposes or blocks. Take, mate. All right, let's try it. Check. Okay. Make sure our plan still is correct. Yep, nothing changed. We want to make sure we check this out. Okay, nobody can get us there. Perfect. Let's move. Noticing, covering this square and that square, the escape square. And once you see where your arrows are, you know that these are squares he cannot move to. So it's simply a matter of getting on this file and stopping him. Or, I mean, mating him. Okay, let's do it. Perfect. Boom. You know what, you guys? I just realized, holy crap, I'm in advanced checkmates. I thought I was going to do the discovered attack. Oh, well, this will be the theme of the puzzle, I guess, advanced checkmates. <laughs> Leave it to me to botch it. Okay, right off the bat, we see a check. And we notice, again, draw your, draw your arrows where the knight can move. Okay, does that make sense? So if we go check, what can he do? Can he come here? No, because the rook's on it. Can he come here? No, knight's on it. Okay, let's go ahead and try that. Boom, done. Again, keeping us pretty low, 139. Let's move on to puzzle number eight. Um, again, we see our bishops sitting up here. We've already We've already shown how powerful they can work together. Okay, we could do something like this, but it's pretty slow, which would be a pin, pinning this piece. I don't think that's what they want. I'm looking all the way down this file, check. Takes. Why would I do that? Why would I just sack a rook for no reason? 
Let's have a look at it. Okay, it kind of looks like I had the right idea. We've got, look at all the escape squares again. This square is out, he can't escape. This square is out, because the bishop's on it. He can't move there. If we move the bishop to b5 and attacking, where else can he move? He has to block. I take, which again is a check, and I'm also forking the rook in the corner. Everybody see that? All right, let's try that. Again, remember this would be a mistake. We don't want to do that. We want to keep checking the king. Checks, captures, attacks. Here's a check. Let's go ahead and take it. And boom, got it. Now we're moving up a little bit. This is 360. Let's move right along. Okay, we're gonna draw our arrows. Boom, boom. Okay, so it looks like what, free knight? Hmm, can we get a piece to this square? How about this? Check. Okay, yes, then what? What's the next move? Well, my little greedy brain just tells me I need to take that check and I'll get this on the next move. So let's try that. Check. Okay, again, now we got all of this. And look, if we hit this, we've got another check. He can't come on this file because of the rook. So once again, I think we found a bishop pair. We did a video on that, a bishop pair, and the bishop paired together. Boom, checkmate. And see, you wanna get used to seeing these patterns. I spent a lot of time trying to look at patterns. So if I can see this setup, I know I have two bishops on the board and I see a rook sitting on this open file like that, my mind should already be thinking about this and this. All right, let's move along. This will be the last one. It looks like if we can get this one right, we'll go 90% um, on puzzles today. And obviously that's getting better, but not good enough. Okay, so let's draw all of our escape squares for him. We went over this. Uh, if you guys watch today, there's going to be a video coming out with Grandmaster Yasser Sirwan, and he's going to talk about how to move the pieces and strategize and stuff. Um, I'd encourage you to watch that. Now, we've got this file open, but he would just take and take, sorry, and take. And then he would take, and so that's that's not good. Remember, now when we see this pattern, we know that that knight is covering those squares. What this is telling me is like, this is not gonna be done in just one move. I'm looking at this to get this way. I think that looks like the right move. We want to see, can anybody take us on this square? No, my pawn is blocking it. Um, and again, we've already said this is not the right answer. So let's set it up. He's going to probably block. He has to. And then we should be able. Hmm. Hold on, though. If we went here, he goes there to A2. I take. He's seeing us coming. He's gonna come here. Hmm. Now I'm gonna look a little harder. Like, what about that? Like, what about a check this direction? Nothing can, nothing can take me, right? Whoops, kind of messed that up. But yeah, so it looks like nothing could take me. So if I went there, check. He can't come this way, so he's forced to go that direction. When he does, then I check. He has to then come back to this square, which he does. I go that way. If he comes up, I win the rook. No, I don't. I don't win the rook in the corner. The bishop protects it. Hmm. So this one might be a little um, one to think on, huh? Is 
Because this piece is not protected, and that's what bothers me. I move this away, suddenly he's coming up, getting involved in the game. Like it's not forcing. This is forcing. So with with the with the themes normally being forcing, I'm gonna say it wants that. It wants me to check him. It wants that check. And it might just be that's all they want in this puzzle. Let's try it. Okay. Now remember, now we're covering this square, that escape square, and that escape square. I didn't even consider that. See? All right, so let's go ahead and move our rook over here and he should block and then that's a checkmate. All right, let's go check. Perfect. Make sure nothing else is backing up this piece. Nothing else is. Let's take it and boom, just like that guys. All right, so that's, uh, we did 10 puzzles. Um, we've got the theme advanced checkmate. So I'm gonna have to change my thumbnail. I accidentally uh, did not unclick the Desperado here. I should have noticed that. I'm just going a little bit too fast today. You see what I was supposed to do is unclick here, unclick that, click discover check, um, and I just completely spaced it. So anyway, the theme now is gonna be called, uh, the theme now is gonna be called advanced checkmates so that's what i'll make the thumbnail about i'm gonna go ahead and get this thing uploaded you guys remember what i said don't listen to me listen to international master levy um uh, rosman i think wait levy what's levy's last name he's we have eric rosen and levy rosman i think levy Ros anyway he's at gotham chess you guys have probably seen him he's got like five million subscribers so you, i'm sure you've seen him but remember when he was coaching um the schools, when he was younger, he would always tell them as an international master, he would say, go and study 10 puzzles and get 10 out of 10 correct each day. Just focus on 10 puzzles. And the reason why I've noticed even for myself, if I'll just focus in on 10 good puzzles instead of just blindly moving pieces around the board like I used to do to see what sticks, you know, oops, that's wrong. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, that's wrong. Oh, OK, there it is. You know what I mean? You're really not letting it get, in, get into your head um, about making the right moves and seeing patterns. So I'd encourage you to do that. If you guys have done that, if you do the advanced checkmates um, and you've done 10 in a row, send it over to me. Let me know that you did it and that it's working for you, okay? But otherwise, have, have a happy Friday. Have a good weekend. I'm out on puzzles and I'll see you on Monday. Take care, y'all.